the Ferrari F12 Berlimetri is already one of the most powerful naturally aspirated cars on the planet, but that doesn't mean there isn't room for improvement. The new F12 TDF opens up the possibilities, carrying 40 extra angry horses under the hood and tearing through twists with help from a new rear wheel steering system. This is an extreme F12 optimized for both road and track. The newest Ferrari pulls its T, D and F from the Tour de France. Not the skinny tire. Lance Armstrong had a pumping bike race, but the classic auto race that Ferrari dominated back in the 1950s and 60s. It was a race that rewarded cars that combined maximum performance with the drivability and ease of use that enabled the competitors to race for hundreds of kilometers a day over fast tortuous roads and on circuits, Ferrari says. In developing the F12 TDF, Ferrari relied on its experience with both racing and XX track car development to give its new car the same spirit of all-road drivability and track lapping performance as classic Tour de France racers like the very first TDF the 1956 250G Liberlinida pictured below which sold at auction for more than $13 million this past August. Ferrari starts things off with a sizable power increase, tuning the F12S 6.3-liter V12 engine to 769 HP 573 kW a bump up from 729 HP 544 kW. The engine remains naturally aspirated, making that lofty power figure all the more impressive. That peak power comes at 8,500 rpm, with the max torque of 520 pounds feet 705 Nm at 6,750 rpm. The tweaked engine makes 80% of that torque available by 2,500 rpm, and Ferrari promises progressive pickup straight through to the red line of 8,900 rpm. The engine receives plenty of help when it comes to turning raw power into hammer dropping straight lines and top athletic movement through the curve sections. The F1-derived dual-clutch transmission boasts 6% shorter gear ratios for 30% faster upshifts and 40% faster downshifts. The front axle gains increased lateral acceleration from the new 275 over 35 ZR 2010J front tires, which are set on widened tracks, along with the 315 over 35 ZR 2011.5J rear tires. To combat the oversteer the new front tires could otherwise cause, Ferrari premieres the virtual short wheelbase rear steering system, which is similar to the rear wheel steering Porsche has been adding to various cars in its lineup. The VSW system relies on control logic to assess the vehicle speed steering wheel angle and speed of steering input to precisely adjust the angle of the rear wheels for sharpened responsiveness, hastened turn in and improved stability. Ferrari only demonstrates the VSW system moving the rear wheels in the same direction as the front which differs from Porsche's approach of moving them both with and against the front wheels, depending upon speed. 
Ferrari adds the system to ensure that the newest prancing horse can be effectively reined in and enjoyed by less experienced drivers. Part of the whole drivability for hundreds of kilometers a day mentality. <laughs>